I'm so sorry for my look. <laughs> Nandito ako sa Palayan or Rice Field or Pilapilan in Bisaya. Kakagaling lang namin magbantay ng treser namin. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about right now. Kasi sometimes di ko rin alam anong ibig sabihin nun. Kasi bago pa lang ako sa pagbabantay dito. So, I'm still getting to know the terminologies regarding farmers and regarding farmers work or job here in the field um george is currently out there sa hindang proper kumukuha siya ng sidecar para kumarga ng uh, 18 sacks of palay on the way to our house so yun okay for our vlogmas day five i am going to prank george and since nandito tayo sa field syempre nakabalot ako yan i'm super balot Look at my feet. So, yan. I'll take advantage of this situation. So, ipaprank ko si George pagdating ko sa bahay. And ngayon, magpipretend na ako na nangangati. Kasi nga, normal naman if nandito ka. If you're in the middle of the field, mangangati ka. So, I'll prank him when we get there, when we get home. Pero start ko na. Tasabihin ko sa kanya na nangangati ako kanina pa. And later on, when we get home, maglalagay ako ng glue sa katawan ko, all over my body. And I don't know if kaya ko if ilagay din sa face. So, I can prank him na nagpipil yung skin ko. And basta, later ko na lang ipapakita yung video and the process. I don't know if I can show you the process while I put the glue all over my body because parang ihahide ko na tong camera sa bahay and then sa old house namin ako magsaset up and mabablow dry sa glue and then pupunta ako sa kabilang bahay namin where I can hide this camera and dun ko kikita yung reaction niya sana hindi ako matawa kasi failure talaga ako when it comes to pranks or when it comes to joke time kasi hindi ko napipigilan yung tawa ko so I hope this would be a success for our vlogmas day 5 and I'll get back to you later so guys, nandito na si George and the sidecar. They're coming, so magsa-start na akong mag-iinarte na nangangate. So George and Nanay are there. Nagliligpit na. Humay. Nga, gibuwad. Be, pagdali kay nangatol na kogdoro. Ha? Nangatol na kogdoro? Roshi. Roshi. Roshi.
Ila de ila dene. It's a prank. Ba man ka? Ibli na ka din ng din ana. Amot sa tiin. Sobrang dito pang arte bisag unsa na na maipamutang gunawas. Sino ako? Hi guys, so kakatapos ko lang magbanlaw at inalis ko na yung glue and I must say it's a fail. Kasi yung reaction ni Nana expected na yon and yung reaction ni Jord hindi ko inexpect. <laughs> Tigil ng katawa. Ang hirap mang prank. The moment bumaba ako galing sa taas kasi doon ako naglagay ng mga glue. Natawa na. <laughs> For today's reading, I'm going to share to you about how you never outgrow spiritual warfare. It just gets more intense. From Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And according to Rick Warren from the Daily Devotion, and I quote, There are four things we need to do when we are battling spiritual warfare in our lives. First is to acknowledge the adversary, that Satan is real. From 1 John 3, 8, the Son of God came to destroy these works of the devil. Second, when you're being attacked, it's a proof that you're a believer. Third one, the more you make an impact for God, the more the devil is going to fight you. And lastly, you never outgrow it. It just gets more intense. And that is it for today's video. I hope you had fun and I hope you find this video helpful, meaningful, and beautiful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And of course, click that notification bell below for more videos.